Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out Nectar 3 Elements by Isotope. Nectar is a vocal processing suite, and Nectar 3 Elements is a snapshot of that. Essentially what it does is streamlines the process. It has a vocal assistant built right in. The vocal assistant will listen to any vocals you feed into it, and then apply a custom-made preset to those vocals to make them sound better. And then you have a few controls to dial it in even further if need be. So I've got this track right here and it's got a vocal on it. I got it what you say. Come show me what you stand for. Stop looking walk this way. Took time to hit the dance floor. So that's a dry vocal and it needs a little bit of processing, not gonna lie. So what we're gonna do is choose our settings right here for the vocal assistant. We have a vintage feel, a modern feel, or dialogue. Obviously dialogue is out of the question, so we need to choose if we wanna go between modern and vintage. I'm gonna go vintage because it's kind of a break beady, old school style vintage track. So a vintage vibe seems to be what might be called for here. Uh, intensity is going to be how much processing we're going to do to the vocal. So we have light, moderate, or aggressive. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on moderate for now because I don't think these vocals are too far gone. I think they're pretty close. They just need a little bit of love and tender care, okay? So let's go ahead and hit go. Now it's going to say waiting for you to play the audio. So Nectar 3 Elements is on that track with that vocal. So as soon as I hit the audio, it's going to play and analyze the vocal. So you want to have it on loop because it's going to keep analyzing for a little bit of time. You're going to see how long in a second here, but you want it looped kind of where the bulk of your track is, okay? So don't put it somewhere where it's super aggressive or somewhere where it's super quiet, kind of where it's in the middle ground, you know what I mean? I got it what you say. Come show me what you stand for. Stop looking walk this way. Took time to hit the dance floor. I got it what you say. Come show me what you stand for. you say come show me what you stand for stop looking walk this way it's time to hit the dance floor so there's a big difference there you'll see that it did add a little bit of clarity de-essing dynamics tone and space I just want to point out that it's always going to say one time. Every time you analyze something new, it's always going to come up as one time. So it's going to look like it's giving you the same thing. And that's because all of the processing is being done behind the scene. The EQ curve is going to be different. The DS parameters are going to be different. The compressor parameters are going to be different. It's going to be custom made for whatever you feed into it. And then you use the sliders to either keep that applied at exactly how Nectar 3 Element says, or you can go up to two times that, or you can go ahead and bypass pass it by dropping it down to zero. So it's not tweaking specific parameters, it's either applying the parameters that have been set by Nectar 3 at 100%, 200% or bypassed. So there are two main sections here. We've got cleanup and polish. There's pitch, clarity, de-essing, dynamics, tone, and space. So let's just run through what those are real quick and then kind of tweak them out so we can get a better idea by showing instead of telling. But anyway, pitch is the pitch correction uh, applied to the vocal. So if it's at zero, there is none being applied. If it's at two times, it's gonna be moving the pitch of the vocals quite a bit to make sure it fits inside of a perfect pitch. Clarity scales the amount of the gain applied to the subtractive EQ bands. De-esking scales the de-esser threshold value. Dynamic scales the compressor threshold value. Tone scales the character of the EQ applied to the vocal. So what's going on here is when Nectar Elements analyzes the track, it makes up an EQ curve that best fits the analyzed audio. And then you can either apply that curve one time, which is gonna be what Nectar Elements thinks it should be, two times that is really gonna boost it, or zero is just gonna bypass that EQ altogether. Double clicking any of these will bring them back to their starting points. And space is going to be a subtle reverb, which just adds space to the vocal itself. So let's go ahead and run this and tweak out some of these sliders just to see what they do. I got it what you say. Come show me what you stand for. Stop looking, walk this way. Took time to hit the dance floor. 
I got it, what you say? Come show me what you stand for. Stop looking, walk this way. It's time to hit the dance floor. I got it, what you say? Come show me what you stand for. Stop looking, walk this way. Till it's time to hit the dance floor. I got it, what you say? Come show me what you stand for. Stop looking, walk this way. It's time to hit the dance floor. I got it, what you say? Come show me what you stand for. Stop looking, walk this way. So I think it did a pretty good job there. I might crank the DS or just a little bit more. Uh, dynamics, I rolled back because it's already pretty compressed. Tone, could use a little bit more tone. The tone's definitely rolling off some of the bassier frequencies and really helping the vocal stand out, really push it out in front. And just a little bit more of that, uh, I think does really well for this particular vocal. If we listen to it in context of the track. I got it, what you say? Come show me what you stand for. Stop looking, walk this way. It definitely sounds better in the mix. So that's pretty much it. That's what Nectar 3 Elements does. It analyzes your vocal, it makes the presets behind the scenes, and then it allows you to adjust these six parameters here. Uh, you can also start over at any time and choose the vibe or the intensity. It also works on dialogue. So I've got this dialogue over here. One last example for you. Drop Nectar 3 Elements on there. This is the vocal, if you haven't already, how to download Loop Cloud and get it installed on your machine. And then I'm gonna show you around Loop. So we're gonna to wanna to choose dialogue from the vibes. We can choose light, moderate, or aggressive. Let's just go ahead and run aggressive for fun. Hit go and play the audio. If you haven't already, how to download Loop Cloud and get it installed on your machine. And then I'm gonna show you around Loop Cloud and show you how it can be used as a tool to make great music. And at the very end, I'm gonna show you how to sync Loop Cloud up with Reason so you can start just dragging and dropping files right from Loop Cloud into Reason. If you haven't already, how to download Loop Cloud and get it installed on your machine. And then I'm gonna show you around Loop Cloud and show you how it can be used as a tool to make great music. So you'll notice right off the bat that it doesn't apply any space because usually for dialogue, you don't want any reverb on there. And uh, I think the dynamics, again, is maybe a little bit too much. If you haven't already, how to download Loop Cloud and get it installed on your machine. And then I'm gonna show you around Loop Cloud and show you how it can be used as a tool to make great music. And at the very end, I'm gonna show you how to sync Loop Cloud up with Reason so you can start just dragging and dropping files and there you go. Again, it's very quick and easy. It does a lot of stuff behind the scenes for you. The vocal assistant is doing the work, and then you just come in and make any slight changes that you want. But when you bypass before and after, there's definitely a big difference, and it's always pushing it into the positive ranges. So anyway, that's a quick look at Nectar 3 Elements. It's available right now in Plugin Boutique. Link's in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something. We'll see you in the next video.